let's see what we get. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, learning how to play the Pokemon trading card game is a piece of cake. When my wife and I first started playing, I went to YouTube, found a tutorial on the official Pokemon YouTube channel, and within 15 minutes, we'd watched the tutorial and had started playing with our V battle decks. It was awesome. But the hardest thing to learn in the Pokemon trading card game is building a deck and coming up with a combination of 60 cards that plays as smoothly and as consistently and as strong as possible. And I mean, at this point, you probably know about other YouTube content creators you can copy deck lists from. Maybe you're familiar with Limitless TCG and you can see deck lists in tournament. But if you're playing PTCGO, you're a new player and maybe you say to yourself like, hey, th there's a, a deck wizard here that can build a deck for me. Is this any good? I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about the deck wizard feature in PTCGO. Wait, before we get into the deck wizard, I wanted to say I'm coming in from the future. I, I've just recorded the thing. Um, at the end of the video, I ended up just like going on a rant about deck building, and I talk about the process of deck building, and I build a deck from scratch and try and talk about some of the principles of things that you want in your deck. So yes, there's a lot of Mimi dumb stuff throughout most of this video, but if you really want the meat and potatoes about like deck building and how do you build a deck, stick around to the end or fast forward to the end. That's all right too. All right, Jet, get back to it. Now, I have not used this before. I've heard things about the quality of the pre-made decks, but I thought for this video, we'd have a little fun to try it out today. So let's go to the deck wizard. And okay, to start your deck, pick up to two of your favorite Pokemon cards from below. Okay, oh, getting to pick two Pokemon instead of one is great. Kind of gives the deck wizard a little more direction on what we want to build. So let's give them a softball, right? I'm going to go Mew VMAX Genesect, right? You got Mew VMAX as your primary attacker. You've got Genesect as the draw engine. Everybody knows the deck list off by heart at this point, right? You got your Genesects, your battle VIP passes, your Cramorants. And this is for standard. Let's see what we get. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. We, we've we got, all right, or they got it right. We've got four, four Mew, four Mew VMAX. We've got four Genesect. There's our draw engine. Great. But then we also have one, one Arceus? Also, um, a Togepi line, I guess, to heal, but then that gets gets away from the, the, the you know, the, the fusion strike drawing of cards. That's a little weird. We have no gusting options. We do have Lance, but Lance searches for dragon Pokemon, and there's no dragon Pokemon here. I guess Suspicious Food Tin can heal, and we do have Lucky Ice Pop for even more healing. I don't even know what Zisu does. Draw a card to see. Okay, sure. And Poke Kid searches for more Pokemon. Um, uh, there's Melanie in here, but there's no water Pokemon on the list. Now, this is really bad. Like, they're, that's missing all of the cards you would want from a Mew V Max deck. Your Battle VIP passes, your Cramorants, your Fusion Energy, Meloettas, and all that. Could we win with this deck? Maybe if we just get the Mew Genesex and a couple of energy, we probably could cheese our way to a win. Let's go and save this uh, Mew Wizard, and we'll just save that for now. This time, let's go with, I'm going to go with a class, a modern classic archetype. We're going to go with Arceus V-Star, and let's go with Duraludon, right? You can't screw that one up too much, right? You accelerate from Arceus to Duraludon, and, and you... What? Okay, well, we got 3-3 three, three Arceus, that's good. We got 3-3 three, three Duraludon, that's a little much. And we have a, a, a Perugly? 
we also have um agron i mean 240 but like how are we accelerating did did we at least get uh we got egg incubators instead of like pokeballs and hold on let's make this bigger um we got rotom bikes and trekking shoes i get rapid strike mustard there's no rapid strike pokemon in this deck 13 metal energy seven fighting energy also schoolboy <laughs> And I, I'm also noticing here that the splits are of Pokemon Trainer Energy is 20, 20, 20. That is a, a lot of theme decks are built in that format and you really shouldn't follow that. The ideal mix is going to vary from deck to deck, but generally speaking, like 20 Pokemon, 30 trainers, 10 energy. But oftentimes there are a number of decks that run even less than that. I think we could probably cheese a win or two with actually no we can't even do that because we need three turns to charge up this arceus oh no okay let's go and and save this one too now that we have our decks let's go and and try them i'm gonna play one match each and see let's see how this goes i think that the the mew one might be able to cheese its way into a win the other two I, I'm not as confident. Palkia could potentially also just do a billion damage by going... Uh-oh. Okay, we got... We have Mew. We have Genesect. We have some Energy. Uh, there's a Togekiss we can't really do anything with. Uh, that's unfortunate, but let's... Oh, no. We're playing the Mirror Match. We have no shot. We have absolutely no shot at making this happen if it was the what capturing aroma why would you play they're still gonna get like a meloetta off of that and they're gonna set up uh, beautifully here all right well <laughs> this is looking really bad i think that at best let's see what we we top deck here but like i'm almost certain and gift energy is a little weird in in Mew V Max as well, because you, you don't need help drawing cards. <laughs> Nevertheless, as wacky as our opponent's list is, it is nowhere as crazy as ours right now. And even if we were playing with an optimal Mew list, which we're not, this is looking really grim for us. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, and they hit the this would just be ridiculous. All they're missing is the energy, and I'm sure they're they're probably gonna draw into it no problem. Okay, yeah, you can you can finish here. And I think our only real play is we have to get Mew out of the active. Genesect is pro Oh, they're not ready! They're not ready. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, then they're gonna draw some more cards. I wish they had the ability marker so you could see when your opponents have finished using their abilities. I think PTCG Live has that. PTCGO definitely has that. No, PTCG Live definitely has it for yourself. Uh, PTCGO, oh no. Okay, well, let's go and, and top deck. All right, we're, we're dead. We're, we're, we're dead. Let, we'll, we'll give them the good game and we will just scoop. All right, so that was a that was a bad that was a bad opening hint. I'm willing to give this one more shot and and see if we can draw a little better. All right, we were just gonna get destroyed. Let's try it again. Okay. Very curious to how our opponent built their their Mew deck as well. That looked a little unconventional but definitely like close enough to the core template that we were going to get obliterated and this is oh my goodness all right so we're, we're done with this one <laughs> all right mute you're done you're done okay um let's go arceus duraludon i have high hopes for arceus duraludon i think that if oh yeah the three energy attach is going to be a big problem i i don't foresee us having a good out to taking three turns to attach energy here unless we <laughs> i don't know how we're gonna do it and we 
and we're starting with Duraludon in the active. If we get an opponent with spec, that if we get Lugia right now, that would be incredible. Okay, hold on. Let's flip. Tails, no good. Justified gloves, no, we don't need that. All right, so we get to go first, which is great. If our opponent's using special energy, we might just be able to cheese them out of a win here. But right now they're playing Manaphy. No idea what we're up against. Okay, what's it gonna be? It's a water deck of some sort. Is it Palkia? If it's Palkia, we're... Oh, Badoof. Okay. All right. What can we... Is there... Oh, they're putting energy on the Badoof. Okay. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Finneon. Oh, this is the... This is the Swim Freely deck. Okay, this actually could be bad. We need to... No, I'm getting rid of that Duraludon. We have the energy. Okay, okay, we're in this, we're in this, we're in this. <laughs> um, the Swim Freely deck, this lets you attach energy from your hand to any Pokemon with the, the Swim Freely attack. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to block attacks because they only use basic energy in this deck. But, but we've got Duraludon ready to go. And if we can just swing a whole bunch of times, we could win. Also, I will admit, maybe my ELO is not where I would like it. Oh my goodness. I have been one-shotted by this deck before. And unfortunately, we have no gusting in this deck either. Um, my ELO has kind of taken a dip as I, I was playing the other day with Reggie Drago and Reggie Drago let me down. It was really bad. I love that deck. I'm gonna continue playing the Reggie Drago deck, but I took a beating and it's been kind of playing like really rogue, rogue decks ever since. We can't even afford to bench Arceus right now. Maybe we do, like there's nothing to grab in the deck. We're just gonna start swinging with pulverization and, and hope it's going to be enough but I really think that there's no... Uh, I guess maybe we do bench a Palkia if we can get some energy down just so we have a second attacker. That might actually be the play because we might get destroyed right here, actually. All right, they're going to go and attach a bunch of energy because of the swim freely thing. And how much damage are they doing here? Oh, and they're going to use Lady to grab a whole bunch of energy from the... Oh, no! Duraludon, please! Oh, no! Oh, we're going to get finessed by the Swim Freely deck. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. No, we can't. Not like this. Not like this. I can't believe what's happening right here. Even if we were playing, I guess if we had like a proper Arceus Duraludon deck, we'd be a little better set up. They're going to get even more energy. They're going to one shot this Duraludon. Oh my goodness. No, no, please, please. Not like this. Not like this. Oh my goodness, 400 damage. Okay, that's like, I'm willing to try that again because I that is extraordinary circumstances on that. Let's try it one more time. Oh, damn, that was crazy. If we were playing that straight up, we would still... I am going to take a guess and see, yeah, is this probably Durant? 
Or Beetle. Okay. Man, oh, we have really gotten ourselves into ELO Hill here. And I, I don't think there's any way we come back from this. <laughs> like, we're already... Rufflet. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, we'll let him draw. Maybe we're going to top deck an Arceus here. Maybe we'll top deck a Duraludon. Okay, we top deck the Duraludon. All right. Um, I guess, yes. If we can get, like, an Arceus. We get a basic, right? Yeah. Let's go get get that. At least if we can get Duraludon VMAX set up, we can block attacks from the Ore Beetle. And maybe we win that way. And, and Glammy out. See, they're playing multiple uh, special energies here and multiple Orb Beetles. We might be able to cheese our way into a win here. Now, I don't think there's any sort of evolution Pokemon search in this deck. Okay, they're going to need need some grass energy here real quick. I Why did the... Oh, no. Here comes Orb Beetle. <laughs> If we can get Duraludon VMAX on the field, we'll be okay, I think. We just don't bench anything else. And, all right, there's a Vitality Band, sure. Um, Can we top deck a Duraludon? I'll even top deck an Arceus. Even top deck an Arceus. And then we'll be okay. But we have to have to have to have to get the, get the Duraludon. Oh man, I'm shaking in my boots. Um, uh oh, here we go. They're probably gonna go with yeah the 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 V V Max already set up, and they're gonna start their offense and pop into oh 30 to everything. I have never seen this card in action before, and it shows. Wow, and I can't even. I can't even retreat. This is brutal. And they're going to run an Avery, which is not going to really do anything for, for them right now. I I would... The things I would do for an Ultra Ball right now, which I'm pretty sure aren't in this deck at all. Oh, no. And we're going to get Escape Roped into the active. Uh, we're going to go with Arceus here. And this is... You know, maybe we should have gone with Duraludon, but I don't want them to put the second energy and obliterate, and they're just going to spam this. Yeah, they, they kept retreating so they can get the special energy out, and, and this is looking worse by the moment. All right. Um, okay, let's keep going. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll get something, anything please all right they're just gonna keep spamming the the ore beetles and just spamming damage counters over and over again and hey why wouldn't you when your your opponent's playing a scuffed deck wizard arceus duraludon build oh yep just go into it just go this is painful i don't know if we're gonna do the palkia i don't know if i can stomach it after this and they're gonna start bombing so g max wave for 100 that's not a lot not a lot we can trekking shoes please hey we get the arceus finally arceus v star what can you get us what ca can we get a switch can we get a duraludon okay duraludon and Schoolboy. I think I'm only getting. Oh, this is one, three, five. We're gonna get four cards. Okay. Uh, no. And we'll vitality band up. And we're done. I'm pretty sure this is going to hit us for two. Yeah, this is gonna one hit KO the Duraludon when we come up. Uh, this is depressing. Can we land at least one hit? Like one hit. Oh my goodness. And they're going to keep spamming all the... <laughs> we did have a shot. We did have a shot. 
but they they smartly got rid of all their capture energy by retreating and and spamming the the eerie beams which is the right play and now they've got themselves set up to do this again um and now they're gonna yep go into throwing in a couple more i think we play this out until we lose the duraludon which is pretty much right here and look our opponent's deck is not it's not optimal not optimal i think is fair to say and nevertheless our our deck from the deck wizard is so poorly constructed that we we probably have no shot here against a an otherwise no off meta deck to say the least <sighs> this is annoying this is so annoying and we're gonna get marnie which it might actually be good <laughs> all right they get into the orbital probably get the grass energy here at the very least we're our arceus on the bench is everything's dying a slow painful death here and the leafy camel poncho comes out so we can't gust up the one without energy wow they, they've uh, to, to our opponent's credit they they have gone out of their way to make a make a pretty optimal or beetle list and and now we're pretty much done we will say well played and and we will leave i think we've seen enough for today so what's the verdict on the deck wizard in PTCGO? It's miserable. Do not use this feature at all. Even if you're a brand new player and you have no idea how to build the deck, this is not the way. The, the, the recommendations it's giving are like fundamentally wrong in that it's always splitting 20-20-20. That's not how you build these decks. The, the Pokemon it gives you don't necessarily make sense. The trainer cards definitely don't make sense. And it's going to be incredibly difficult to get anything viable out of this thing would not recommend instead if you are looking for deck building resources i think of course you, if you're watching this you already know about youtube and there are some amazing creators who make decks and, and showcase their lists tricky jim omnipoke little dark fury the shuffle squad zach lesage um uh for the win tcg popsicle night there are so many creators if you google it like a card i think that's the thing if if there's a card that you want to build a deck around you want to look for a mew deck an arceus deck a a dragapult deck whatever it is type that in deck you're probably gonna find someone who's made a deck video on that almost certainly going to be better than anything the deck wizard could make all right if you want some more resources and you're willing to head outside of youtube limitless tcg play.limitlesstcg.com go to the deck section here these are the decks that are being used in limitless tournaments this is kind of the main hub for online tournaments that use their tournament system and you can see there's all of these different deck archetypes you can click you can see the the players that use them and look at their lists over here and see the exact cards they're playing that's great you could also use this website, justinbasil.com, and click on the what to play section. And there's a section for meta decks, budget decks, new decks, expanded decks, and so on. You probably want to start with, with the meta decks and look at these lists as a starting point for some great decks to build. And yeah, I, I think, yeah, deck building's hard and maybe you don't have the cards. Um, I would recommend 
Uh, just the fundamental. Oh, I, I do have a video on like sort of fundamentals of deck building. I'll link to it in the description. It. I think the, the whole concept of deck building is very it's really tough to explain and even when i did a deck video guide on how to build it it was within the context of building a specific deck and i think there's a lot of ways that that one can go about it um actually you know let's add some value here let's go add some value i was not planning on on doing this but let's go and take one of these decks and make it better and like what are the things you're looking for so we'll do the mu one just because it's here it's pulled up we're going to take the arceuses out these add no value whatsoever we're going to take the togepi toga the togepi togekiss line out yes healing's nice mu doesn't really need it because it's meant to be a really fast deck and is really just trying to outrace your opponent to to 60 so we we probably don't need old cemetery we definitely don't need lance we don't need melanie we don't need opal we pretty much throwing out all of this <laughs> um let's go and take this down and i'm gonna do this off the top of my head and i know i make my mew list a little differently but let's try and build like the standard mew list and this is going to be the Meloetta one and not the like the, the weird Path to the Peak variants or anything like that. So we're going to go with four Mew Vs. Basics, you want to have as many of like your basic main attacker as you can so that you're you're most likely going to, to pull it up. And we want Genesect, four Genesect for maximum draw power with its fusion strike system right that those are like the essential cards if you're gonna play the meloetta build which i personally prefer you'll probably want two meloettas and this is great because mew can copy this melodious echo attack which lets you do 70 damage for each fusion strike energy in play or um yeah or meloetta can attack itself going second you can hit for 210 damage plus knock out a pokemon v just end the game you're gonna want most likely two of these and some people have started skimping out on the oracorio like i have as well i don't have oracorio on my list but this is a popular card to put into your mew deck so you take 20 less damage from attacks and this can be very helpful in matches like the mirror match or against lugia and other decks as well where you've got a fusion strike equivalent of that functionality and that's kind of it like we're not messing around with um ice q or the toxtricities or the dragapult like those other fusion strike pokemon these are like different archetypes and they're they're really not that good if you're gonna build a fusion strike deck it's most likely mew but if you're going to build one outside of Mew, it's probably still going to have Genesect in it to draw a whole bunch of cards. All right. So trainer cards. What, what do you want in a Fusion Strike deck? You almost always want four battle VIP passes. These, This deck is a setup heavy deck. You want to have as many of your Pokemon on the board. Your three Gen... Like odds are you're going to go three Genesect, two Mew, one Meloetta and you might tweak it as you go based on what you draw. Uh, what else are you gonna want? You're gonna want four Cramomatic. Cramomatic is a card that works really well in Mew because you're oftentimes, you're a combo-based deck, you're trying to get cards in a very specific sequence so that you can obliterate your opponent. Um, we're gonna want four of these most likely. And let's go straight to the energy here as well, just to make this easy, right? We want our Fusion Strike energy. We want four of these. And for each of these, we multiply our damage up by 70. We can use Alessa to attach the multiple Fusion Strike energies on, on a turn. And we're going to want double turbo energies as well. Mew VMAX can attack with just one attachment of a double turbo. We're going to go with seven total energy, which is really all this deck needs. If you want to mess around with basic psychic energy to try and get around Temple of Sinnoh, sure. But most, most people aren't really playing that card and you can kind of work around it anyway. All right, what else are staples in the Mew V Max deck? Quick Ball, of course, get your basics out. Plus, um, I'll just use these. Um, you're gonna want to uh, thin your deck so Genesect can draw more cards. So even when your bench is full, you still want these. You also want four Ultra Balls, right? So. Uh, again, trying to get your Mew Maxes, your Mellow, whatever Pokemon you need, you can get it here. You can also thin your deck to draw some more cards. 
Uh, you'll want some Alessa in this particular build. I personally prefer three. I think most of the, the decks run three. You might see as low as two. Um, but if you're playing a Meloetta build, you're going to want a couple of Alessa Sparkle to use this action of attaching two Fusion Strike energy to two different Pokemon. Amazing, right? So this is all starting to come together now. A new card from uh, Silver Tempest that is a a must at this point for seal stone you're going to want two of those in your deck lets you pretty much have a v-star power grab one card of your choice from your deck put it into your hand absolutely amazing uh choice belts i like choice belt in this deck we're going to put two of these on here so you can squeeze out even more damage uh, you're going to want power tablets because those give you plus 30 damage on attacks from your fusion strike pokemon so let's add four of those and without having looked at a list we've got 48 out of 60 what other cards are in the mu deck i'm actually going to scan through off the top of my head i should actually know these we probably want at least one to two boss right two bosses orders for the time being let's go with two boss and we're also going to want one serena and you might want to go with more than one Serena. Serena acts as a gusting card or a draw card, draw and discard. Really handy. You're going to want at least one of these in your Mew deck. And we want some stadiums. I think that Lost City is a good one in Mew, like one to two. Uh, I know a number of Mew decks have started playing Path to the Peak. And that will... It's going to slow you down, but it also stops the Drapion. That's like one way to go about it. So maybe we throw in a path here as well. Um, I personally don't have Path to the Peak in mind, um, but that's something you can throw in there as well as a specific tech for a specific matchup. I I know no one's really running the, the Rose Tower anymore. I like Rose Tower in Mew. Still, just to give me a little extra draw power. And what cards am I missing? I'm I'm embarrassed that we don't have a full 60 setup. What did I miss? Bear with me now as I, I scroll through. Lost Vacuum is kind of good uh, for getting rid of Pat to the Peak. Yeah, let's throw one of those in there for the time being. And maybe we'll cut that out after. Oh, we don't have any Switch cards. I think that's, just, that's all we're missing, right? Um, let's throw in... I usually go 2-2, two, two, two escape ropes, two switches. And you might want switch cart instead of, and I think that's it. I think it's just the switch. And I pretty much nailed the, the entirety of Mew more or less like this. And let's go see our counts. I know we're like one card too many and we can, we can fudge that a little bit. Maybe we take out the, for the sake of the argument, let's take out the Lost Vacuum. And you might want to take out Pats of the Peak instead. But um, let's talk about it, right? So here's our deck, Mew V Max. We've got four Mew Vs, three Mew V Max. This is our main attacker. We're going to be using Cross Fusion Strike to copy the attacks from Meloetta and Genesect. Genesect, good general attacker. Meloetta, if you've got the Fusion Strike energy on the board, especially if you have four of them, you're going to be able to hit for 280 plus damage. And in tandem with Choice Belts and Power Tablets, you can pretty much one hit KO anything in the game. You're going to want to conserve your Power Tablets and make sure you're using them at the right time. But if you do it, you can kind of tear through everything in the game. We've got Battle VIP Pass to help us set up quicker. Cramomatic to help us draw a specific card when Genesect is not drawing the right cards that we need. We've got two escape rope in order to get Genesects or whatever out of the active. Mew does have the ability to switch on its own, but if Genesect or Meloetta and stuff get stuck, you've got some draw switch options here in terms of escape rope and switch. You might even want to take these down one or two. Up to you. We've got four power tablets for that extra damage. We've got Ultra Ball and Quick Ball for Pokemon Search and thinning the deck so Genesect can draw more cards. Our stadium counts. We've got two Lost Cities to deal with the pesky single prize decks such as a Lost Box or a Reggie Gigas. Um, we've also got Rose Tower to help draw cards. Not as many people are playing this one now. Something to consider still. Path to the Peak actually slows you down, but it also slows down your opponent. It might hurt your opponent more depending on how you're set up. If you're going to play Path to the Peak, you want to put it down either when Drapion is a real threat, like maybe they've not 
Drapion has taken out one of your Mews and you know they can set up for another one. Or your opponent needs to pass to the... Like, you put it down because you know it's going to hurt them more that's going to hurt you. Like, for example, you're playing against Lugia and you put this down on turn one and you can set up, but they can't get their summoning star and then they're screwed. That's where you would play Path to the Peak. We've also got two bosses orders for Gusting. We've got Alessa Sparkle to make sure that we hit the... Um, get the extra Fusion Strike energy on the board quickly, potentially for a Meloetta turn to Donk. One Marnie just for some hand disruption and to shake up your hand if your cards get stuck. Serena doubling as a draw card, a discard card, tripling up as a, a way to discard cards, draw more cards, and possibly gust if need be. Two choice belts for that extra damage, four seal stone to grab the an extra card of your choice, and then energies. We've got our four fusion strike energy and three double turbos. And there we go. Um, extra Mew deck building exercise. And you're kind of thinking about like, what are the, the tent poles of this? Cause I kind of rushed through this. Um, what are your, what, what Pokemon do you have? What is your main attacker? What support, what, what do the other Pokemon do? Do they provide some sort of support function in this sense? Mew is the main attacker. Meloetta is the secondary attacker. Genesect is a support Pokemon that helps you draw cards and has an attack you can copy from. Oracorio is is helps you with your defense. You've got your energies and you've got just enough energy to make this go. Three double turbos are great because you can only need one attachment to attack with Mew. Uh, Fusion Strike energy is great to unlock the melodious echo attack also you can attach extra energy with a less sparkle which is why we have a bunch of these here you're always going to want options to draw cards in this case it's genesect but it's also one marnie and one serena you're going to want gusting options to pick the right pokemon of your opponent's team from the bench to the active we got two copies of boss one copy of serena you want energy acceleration in your deck almost every deck can have options to attach more than one energy in this case it's going to be alessa sparkle and to a certain extent double turbo energy circumvents the second energy on mew uh, you want some stadiums that that help you out in some way shape or form lost city helps us get rid of single prize attackers and single prize pokemon out of the game so they can't keep reusing them path to the peak is going to help us out in specific matchups like any deck with drapion in it or decks that get hurt more by path than we do although we get hurt by path really bad and rose tower helps us draw some more cards you're gonna you may want some movement options i always believe in having at least some sort of movement whether it's a switch or an escape rope or a bird keeper and we have those as well we've got damage modifiers which is specific to mew but some decks might have other damage modifiers as well if not power tablet almost always choice belt at this point in the meta once we shift to ex cards it may not be the same um and i think those are kind of the the tent poles of of this exercise all right that that's gonna do it for this vid this ended up being a lot more educational than i thought i was just trying to make a meme video where where we get dunked on with crappy decks but hopefully this exercise on deck building uh helps you out so um i gotta go for the time being and before we go uh some quick plugs you can find me on youtube tiktok twitter and instagram at in third person you can find me on twitch at in third person where i stream the pokemon trading card game every sunday at 9 a.m eastern time and check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games board games and other nerdy pursuits thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one where's my outro screen i can never find it here it is later